Oh. Oh. Hello, Athens City School District families. In celebration of Apple Crunch Day, our harvest of the month is the apple. October is also Farm to School Month. And to tell you a little bit about what Farm to School Month is, I'm going to have my friends Nurse Heidi and our food service director, Timory Francis, explain to you what uh, Farm to School Month is. I'm Heidi Shaw, one of the school nurses for Athens City School District, and I wanted to introduce you to my new friend, Timory Francis, our food service coordinator for Athens City Schools. Hi, I'm really excited to be here and talk to you about the Farm to School Month which is a celebration of our local farmers and what they produce for our breakfast and lunch programs here at the school district. For example, we use Shagbark chips and the Chester Hill auction to get some fruits, some vegetables, and chips for our meals here at school. And this month, for the harvest of the month, we even get to have apples donated by Cherry Orchard Farm. Before we show you these delicious recipes that we made with the apple, I want to remind you all that when preparing food, you should always wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds with warm water and soap. Um, these recipes are for you all to make with your loved ones at home and to practice good hand hygiene before you prepare food or consume food. And if you're going to be making something for other people, Make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly and or wear gloves while you're doing that. My name is Rosa and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we can find in our Harvest of the Month, the apple. So if you remember last um, Harvest of the Month, I talked about some of the benefits of fiber. Um, today I'm going to tell you about how in apples we can get vitamin A, which remember that's one of our antioxidants, really important for building immunity and especially as we head into flu season, we want to make sure that we keep those up and keep ourselves feeling healthy. And the great thing about the apple is that it's super versatile in how you can use it in meals. So for example, one of the recipes that we prepare today is a mixed salad. And I think apples are a great addition because it gives a crunch, gives a little bit of sweetness, so you can offset maybe a tangy um, dressing that you use. We used a great lemon um, vinaigrette in here today. You can also use it in baking. I think it's a great um, additive um, when you don't want to use too much sugar, but you still want to get that gooey, chewy taste. Today we made an apple crumble, which smells delicious. And then lastly, we made an apple nacho, which I think is a really nice alternative to your traditional nacho. You still get that crunch factor, but you get all the benefits um, that you can get from an apple and you can dress it up however you like. So if there's something on here that you don't like or you want to add something else, you can totally customize it. And I think this is a really great way that you can use apples in more than just your traditional bite. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I wish you all had smell vision and you can smell the beautiful fall apple and cinnamon smells um, with our apple nachos, our apple crumble, and our apple goat cheese and walnut salad. We are doing this again in celebration of Apple Crunch Day. Apple Crunch Day is officially on October 8th, but we encourage you to celebrate it all month. But share with us that you did that. So take an Apple Crunch picture and share it with us on our Facebook to show us you're celebrating. Um, at our food pantry on October 21st, 
we will also be distributing apples so that you can try and make these recipes for yourself at home. It is located at 21 Burge Drive at Old Chansey Elementary School, and we will be doing that starting at 4 o'clock. Thanks, bye!